Notice that no food and drinks are allowed except water in this stadium. 本场馆除饮用水外，全面禁止饮食。And remember to turn off the flashlight during matches. 在比赛进行中，为避免影响选手，请务必关闭摄影器材的闪光灯。From Taipei City, and welcome to the Yonex Taipei Open 2022. We're coming to you live from the capital of Chinese Taipei for the Super 300 event that's back on the HSBC BWF World Tour after a two year absence. Being held here at the Taipei Herping Basketball Gymnasium, the tournament features participants from 21 countries across the five disciplines. Now it's one of eight Super 300 events this year. The Yonex Taipei Open boasts a total prize pool of US dollars 500,000. And more than halfway through the season, it's just 10 tournaments remaining, including that season-ending HSBC World Tour Finals at the end of the year, where only the top eight players qualify from the disciplines. But here at the tournament at hand, it's semi-finals day. And let's take a look at the matches coming our way here on court one. To get the day going, we have mixed doubles action between Malaysia's Hu Pang Ron and Cho Yi Wei taking on Hong Kong China's Lee Chun Hei Reginald and Ng Tse Yao. That'll be followed by men's singles action and a battle of the young guns. One of the most informed players at the moment, Kodai Naraoka of Japan, the number four seed, taking on Lin chun -Yi, who had a huge upset in the quarterfinals when he got the better of Wang Tzu Wei, the number two seed. After that, it'll be women's singles and the first of the top seeds in action, the crowd favorite, Tai Tzu Ying, taking on her younger compatriot in Su Wan Chi. Men's singles will follow that. Again, number one seed in action, Cho Tianchen, also a fan favorite here. And he'll take on young Malaysian Sung Ju Wen. Women's doubles to follow after that. And Sung and Yu of Chinese Taipei, Sung Shuo Yun and Yu Tian Hui take on the number six seeds, Ng Tse Yao and Sang Hyu Yan. Ng, of course, looking to do the double here at the Yonex Taipei Open. And to close things off, it's the number one seed in Olympic champions, Li Yang, Wang Chi Lin of Chinese Taipei taking on Malaysia's Bun Sin Ryong and Wong Tian Chi. So that's the action that's coming up, but we are focusing on the first of the matches and that's mixed doubles. Just looking at the draw and how the four semi-finalists stack up. Coming up on court one is that Malaysia-Hong Kong clash, Hu and To, of course have been promoted from qualifying. So this is a fantastic run for them. And they'll face the winner of that Chinese Taipei Thailand clash that'll be held on court two today. And uh, that will result in the final matchup for tomorrow's action. And uh, as we see the officials coming up to the courts, the fans have backed up this gymnasium, looking forward to some scintillating action that is about to begin. You can see the local fans getting out their banners and 
little um, uh, portraits of their favorite players. I spotted a few uh, Tai Tzu Ying portraits up there in the crowds. So we know who's a favorite here at this tournament. But we're going to focus on these players that are coming up. There we have the Malaysians who are ranked 94th in the world. We've got a Malaysian fan in the mix in the crowd as well. And they will take on Hong Kong's Chun, Lee Chun Hei and Ng Se Yao. Ng Se Yao looking to do the double here for the first time since 2005. That's a big attempt for the Hong Kong China player. Well, it's the world number 94 is there from Malaysia. Who, 24 years of age, and To, 21 years of age, taking on the world number 71s in Li Anang, and this will be their first ever meeting. So... pair up against Reginald Lee. Well, as I mentioned, this is a different kettle of fish in Lee and Ng. Lee ranked as high as six in the world with Chao Hoi Wa. So he knows a thing or two about performing on the biggest of stages. His partner, Ng Se Yao, she's 24 years of age and she's looking to create a bit of history for Hong Kong China as well as they look for their mix doubles plate in the final remember she's looking to do the double in both the mix and the women's but also you know she's looking to defend hong kong china's crown in this discipline looking at their road to the semi-final they defeated chinese taipei in the first round in straight games and were equally efficient against america's chu and guy in the quarterfinals they were pushed all the way to three games against Ye and lee coming through in 42 minutes Looking at the chair umpire there is Charles Wang of Chinese Taipei. And he will be joined in the service judges chair by Alan Chung, also of Chinese Taipei. And we're about ready to get things going here in the first of the semi-finals on court one. It's mixed doubles between Malaysia and, and Hong Kong, China. On my right. Lee Chun Hee, Reginald, and Mo Zi Yao, Hong Kong, China. And how about that? Wu 
Tan Rong and Go Yi Wei, Malaysia. Wang Ziyao to serve to Hun Pan Rong, love all, play. Wang Ziyao will serve to get this match going. It's quite a low serve, One, close to the net. Placed it to perfection. Service four call. Who high? Service over. Three. One. That was an easy point to give away, wasn't it? Service over. Well wide. Two, on the return three. from. Ang is looking to go sideways. It's great attacking play from Lee and Ang. It's really quick exchanges between the two. with their opponents, Malaysia. It's very early on in the game and as long as they keep that scoreboard ticking, that's all that counts. Originally, no, no, was it? No block on the side. It doesn't matter, okay? Well, I think the umpire and Lee were having words about the shuffle. Four, five. Well out. It's just a one point game. Oh. It's over. He did Six. track backwards Four. to try and get to that shuttle. It's stretched out quite a bit. Who? Play. Play out. react but miss hit that one oh. same hey. mistake made by his Four. partner there Oi. again similar kind of reaction that's two errors back to back Allowing Hong Kong now to slowly Nine. establish the Four. gap. To break away. It's a five point lead. Oh. 
brilliant brace placement from Lee Jin Wei. He's finding the line so well. That was a good idea okay. from Ante. Yeah, she was looking for the corner. And we've seen her go for the sidelines a couple of times now and not make it. That was some big hitting from Malaysia. Okay. Both from the back of the court by who? But of big smashes using all his power and then followed up by two in the front. On court two, women's singles. Service for call. Too hard. Midaila Natsuki, Japan. After all that hard work, Versus unfortunately, a service for means China. it's Japan. Hong Kong, China, who take the lead. Uh, 11-6 at the mid-game break. Be happy with that. Five minutes played. And it's Lee and Ng. We're in a comfortable position at the moment. So quick word from their coaches. Just recapping the plan. Maybe Malaysia needs a little bit of a new strategy what's not worked so far for them more like that from Zupan Wan we know he's got the power and that one was accurate as well as you mentioned the break they would have just re-strategize a little bit, seeing what they could have do and done to change things up. Oh! Close the gap. Silver, 12, 7. They've only been together for a couple of months, who and Toe. They're still establishing themselves as a pair. But in that short oh. time, they have done Silver. well. Eight, twelve. The quarterfinals of the Indonesia Open, which is a Super 1000, the quarterfinals of the Singapore Open, which was the last tournament on the world tour, and made it a three-point game here. So we know that there's potential there. Fantastic placement right on the corner. Look at that. That is vision. Extraordinary vision. from the back of the court, Hu Bang Ron. So yeah, at full stretch there. So 
so it's level scores. They were trailing by five points at the break. They've now leveled it. First time in this first game, Malaysia take the all-important lead. You can see it in their expressions. Very composed as he just pushed the shuttle over. It's over. They certainly have their tails up, Malaysia, at the moment. The sense the belief has been restored after that chat with their coaches. Thirteen. Approval from the sidelines. China under a little bit of pressure now. Hey. Try to go across the net with that. Hu Pang Wan, but didn't quite get the angle. Fourteen, fifteen. I can tell you the Lee and oh. are not going to go away easily. Got a lot of pedigree in them. But a win-loss record of 20 to 6 this year. Finished runners-up at the Denmark Masters earlier, then having won the Dutch International as well. Great understanding between the two as well. 15, 15. You mentioned Lee has found a lot of success with his former partner Chow, but even. Oh. 16, has won tour titles with other partners. She's won the women's doubles title at the Hyderabad Open in 2018. She's won the China Masters in 2019 with Tan Chung Man, who is the defending champion here. Not playing, of course. Back and forth game at the moment. Very little separating the two. Hey, hey. Hit that too hard. Miss hit it a little bit. Just look at Ung's response with that serve. She pushed it all the way towards the back, forcing Hu to backtrack. Great serve. 19, She's a terrific player, Ung Tse Yao. Quick thinking. Well left, I'd say. Could have gone either way. That was a close call. But five game points now for Lee and Ng. Bit too rushed. 
looking to kill that off. Ang Tsuyao, but found the net instead. Just going to play a patient game here, build up the point. So close to clinching this first game. Still have three game points. Okay. And they do it. On the third time of asking, they clinch the first game. 21-17, Lee Anang. I'll be happy with that. Great return of serve from Lee. And 14 minutes gone. It's Hong Kong China who've taken the first game, 21-17. There was a bit of a tense period in the middle there when Malaysia leveled the score at 12 all, but it's gone their way. Lee Nung will be happy with that. So the players back on court. Getting ready to get the second game underway. It's a two minute break between games. And there was a lot of gesturing between player and coach and then between player and player as well. Both pairs know there's work still to be done. It's not over yet. One, and a big seconds. advantage now for Lee Anang having taken that first game. Malaysia with a lot to do in this must win second. Second game. Love all. Play. And will serve again to get the game underway. Smash. One, Got the angle on that. Majuna. Lee. Going cross court with that smash. Rally. Nice shot One. from Toe. Just intercepting that shuttle, forcing the error of Lee's racket. That one too. She's been strong One. in front of the net. Toe Yiwei, look at that. Really quick reflex off her forehand. Hey. Defensively very good, Malaysia. That's a good start One. from them. We we'll try and take control early on. Bounced on that, Ang Tse Yao. It's going straight at who? Hey! It's over. Four, two. A little 
little bit annoyed with herself there. Um, doesn't give much away, but you can see or sense a little bit of annoyance. Brilliant attack, right at toe. She goes straight at her opponent, sort of forcing her to fall backwards awkwardly while keeping the shuttle in play. <laughs> the right idea, but Getting the opponents to scramble, but just not finding the line then. He really has been really good with his forehand smashes. That time looking for the steep angle, slide jump. Malaysia is just about staying ahead. The first game, they were chasing for the longest time. And they've taken a different route here by keeping the lead. That's a brilliant placement again from Hong Kong, moving their opponents around. Just look at that, left and right, and then lifting the shuttle at a height where it made it hard for who to smash. <laughs> Again, he just missed that. It's the right idea. They've played a couple of shots where it's... The idea is on point, but... It's just missed the lines. That's well out. The net came in the way. Sigh of relief for Malaysia. Two point lead now. Best performance here, Wu and To getting to the semi finals. <laughs> what a rally! The persistence with the attack from Malaysia paid off. Relentless in that point, opening that gap up to three points now. Be a big, big psychological advantage if they can keep this lead going into the mid game break, Malaysia. Called out with a close call. Looked very, very close there, didn't it? So strong at the net, Ang Tse Yao. Look at the way she reacts with that backhand. 
the angle she creates on it. Big open space for who to kill off that point. Tall player. Jump smash just ending it off. So two points ahead are Malaysia. Again, this time from the backcourt, Aung Se Yong showing her quality. So Malaysia just hold on to that lead, two-point lead at the mid-game break, 11-9 up. They've done well to stay ahead of their opponents. 11 minutes played in that first half of the second game. And it'll be a much better response from the Malaysians in this second game. Players back on court to resume game two. Malaysia just about leading in the second game by two points, but it's a much better performance in the second game from them. Exactly what they need to try and do to stay ahead and try and push this game to a third, but the experience of Lee and Ung is going to be a factor here now as they try to find their way back. Big smash. Just attacking the forehand of the backhand apologies of who. <laughs> they are so strong in the front of the court. Who and Toe. Just look at how tight that net shot was. She literally glided the shuttle with her backhand, Toe Yue. Making it such a tight net shot that it was almost impossible for Ung to respond. Big yell from Cho Yi Wei. Important points these are as they slowly move towards the end of the second game. On the move with the kill shot. Ang Tse Yao. She set it up with that flat forehand and then killed the point off. Service error on too long. You can see the emotions coming out of Toei Wei there. Every point counts. It's a must-win game to keep their tournament hopes alive. And she has been so effective in the front of the court. Just look at that. Finding the space between the two.
Well, unfortunately, service error of her own means Hong Kong China can pull a point back quite easily. Really good net skills here from To Yi Wei. Driving the shuttle. Look at that beautiful drop. Superb. What a response. Finding that space in front of Lee. She's got to control these errors of theirs. They're doing so well. Malaysia to stay ahead. Good defending. Great rally. Oh, 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 she finds the space between the lines. Anta Yao. Great placement. It's an important point as well. Try and keep at it, try to narrow the gap. Just a two-point game now, and things move very fast in the sport. Momentums change very quickly as well. Just a couple more points and they'll be level. Relation coach applauding that. Encouraging the players on court. We're just three points away from pushing this match to a third. Persistent with the attack once more. To Yi Wei will not let this go. First she goes for the angle, then she goes for the space. So tough. from Malaysia just the will to succeed has seen some tremendous play and that set up four game points they really have had immense willpower to see this game through. Still got three more chances to do so. Well, they played the patient game that time. And Malaysia have taken the second game 21-17 to push the semi-final into a third. Fantastic play by To Yi Wei in the front of the net, and it's been backed up by his, by her hard-hitting partner at the back. So we've had 32 minutes of play, and it's one game apiece in this mixed double semi-final.
抓就对了。一般的球也不要拿，就被我抓了。这个一直一直飞回来，所以打一排就放出来，打打打打打。这行业就是那个，我就我拦下来，结果不能接给女姐，给他们准备回来Players back on court to get the decider underway. And uh, who and Toe will certainly have the momentum on their side, having snatched that game from Hong Kong, China towards the end. They have experience of coming back from a game down in this tournament in that second round when they played the third seeds, Lee and Su. They came back from a game down to win the second and third, and they'll be looking to do the same here as Toe serves. And in that match, it was such a close match, almost for an hour. They lost the first game, 21-23, then had to win the second, 23-21, and then came back to win the third a little bit easier, 21-14, Malaysia. They've shown that they have the grit and the lasting power to take wins. Lee and Ang also not wants to back off. They've been pushed to three in their quarterfinal by Chinese Taipei's Ye and Lee. There they lost the first game and came back to win the second and third. So, as far as what's going to happen in this one, it's anyone's guess. Both pairs unseeded, both pairs looking for their first HSBC BWF World Tour title. that was <laughs> oh, brilliant that was an immense rally saw some amazing saves from the Malaysians covering the court at every angle but in the end the net coming in the way for Cho Iwei. What a rally. See how badly both these pairs want it. That time. Ang was all over the net. There's a few service errors in this match. So Malaysia in the second game gave away a couple of cheap points. See Hong Kong do the same. Again, brilliant from the backcourt from Five, Lee Chun Hei. Three. Going cross court with that forehand flick.
power hitting at its best. Hu Pangron was not going to let that go. And even though Lee got his backhand on it, it went wild because it was so much power. Couldn't control the shuttle there. tight game, just millimeters separating the two at the moment. <laughs> Tweener, and then beautiful winner. So that is some delightful play. Look at that, the tweener from who to save the point and then beautiful placement on the forehand from toe. Oh, excellent hitting. Taking it to another level, who and toe. Relief there. Six. Li Yanang is again on the move. We're looking dangerous, the Malaysians. That's some sublime hitting from Lee Chun Hei. It's been a physically demanding game. And you can see that it's starting to take a bit of a toll on the Malaysian pair. Need to be fully focused at the moment. She was on it throughout that rally. Ang Se Yao. Taking control of the net and giving Hong Kong China the advantage in this third game. 11 6 at the break, similar to how that first game played out. They'll be happy with where and how things are placed. Pressure firmly on Malaysia to do something here. So change events in the decider. And uh, a five point gap between the two. Malaysia with some work to do here as Ang Tzu Yao will serve to resume game three. Hey. 
big smash. He has been very effective with that Hupang run. It's his go-to shot to get themselves out of a spot. <laughs> well, a bit lucky. He apologizes, Lee chun Hei, but it was the shot before that with Ang Tsao Yao moving as she went cross-court. That was what did the damage and opened up the space. Six-point game now. Oh, beautiful. Precision at its best from Reginald Lee. Swerving his racket to find the drop shot there. Had to be at full stretch to try and even make that to Yi Wei. Big, big ask. So, seven points now between the two. She is so focused at the net, Ang Tzu Yao. Not anything go. What placement from To Yi Wei under pressure. She finds the gap. Got to do something quickly here. The Malaysians. The gap seems to be slowly but surely widening. Eight points now. Error to Malaysia's much relief. And it was Legion Hayes' cross court smash that did the damage that time. Attacking the backhand. Off toe there. So, still an eight point lead. That was persistent play that paid off from Malaysia. No matter how much Hong Kong defended, they found the winner eventually between the legs of Ang Tsai Yao, that too. Just got to go and keep at it. Who and toe. Return. Jump smash working to perfection for To Yi Wei. Pull two back. Still six points between the two pairs. On court two. Good recovery. It was Aung Tzu Yao who made that happen. She scrambled to recover the shuttle, the backcourt there. And not only did she make it, but that set things up really well. 
So really good work from Ang Tse Yao there. Another big smash from Hu Pang Ron. That time going cross court. Get out of jail card. Found the gap. And he found it well. So it's just two points away from victory for Hong Kong China here. Look at that falling right in between the two players. Brilliantly struck. Oh, beautiful. On the line. She couldn't have placed it any better. Setting up eight match points here. And they do it on the first time of asking. Lee Chun He and Ang Tse Yao of Hong Kong, China are through to the final of the Your Next Taipei Open 2022 and on course to defend the crown for their nation. Brave fight by Malaysia's Hu Pang Ron and To Yi Wei. They tried so hard, playing a fantastic second game and then really pushing the higher ranked opponents in the third, but it was Lee and Ng who made the points count when it mattered most. 20 minutes in that deciding game to take it 21-12. So the final score reading 21-17, 17-21, And it will be Hong Kong, China who book their place in the final. players acknowledging the crowd and the support they've received as they walk off the court. Just witnessed mixed double semi final with Li and Ang of Hong Kong, China, seeing off Hu and To of Malaysia to book a place in the final. Up next, it's men's singles here on court one. Uh, Kodai Naraoka, the fourth seed from Japan, taking on Lin Chun Yi, the upstart from Chinese Taipei. That's the semi final that's coming up. Just to look at the men's singles draw and the four semi-finals, of course, decided the 
other match between the number one seed Cho Tien Chen and Sung Ju Won of Malaysia will be played in a couple of matches time here on court one. But right now the focus is Naraoka versus Lin Chun Yi. Naraoka bidding to reach his second successive final here on the HS BC BWF World Tour. Having recently played at the Singapore Open where he got to the final and then lost out to Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. He'll be looking to change that here in Taipei. You see the officials come out and the crowd ready to get behind the local 